Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 199 Flaming Sun Scripture Displayed on the half-transparent pale blue screen, the price of the Flaming Sun Scripture was similarly striking. Crap! This seller must have been dropped on his head as a child. Sure Fong loudly cursed the moment he saw the price. In actuality, Sure Fong wasn't the only person who loudly cursed when they saw the price for this Flaming Sun Scripture. Some players would even couple their curses with a few finger motions. A thousand gold coins. This person was simply insane. Sure Fong then took a look at the seller's name. Sinfully handsome. Sure Fong could only look at this person with respect when seeing this exotic name. Just how much of a narcissist was this person? Looking at this name, Sure Fong could also vaguely guess the reason why the price of this Flaming Sun Scripture was so high. However, since he had seen the Flaming Sun Scripture, he could not easily give it up. Hence, he sent out a communication request to this person called Sinfully Handsome. However, Sure Fong hid his name when he made the call, preventing this Sinfully Handsome from discovering his identity. After waiting for ten seconds or so, Sinfully Handsome picked up the call. Who are you? What business do you have with me? You can't be asking me to power level you, right? If you're a pretty girl, this brother can carry you to victory with me. Narcissism filled Sinfully Handsome's voice when he spoke, and he gave others the hint of being a hooligan. Sure Fong was instantly dumbfounded when he heard Sinfully Handsome's words. Girl, carry you to victory? Just who was this person? Even a person like this could obtain the Flaming Sun scripture? Was this world already in such a mess? Hey, speak a few words, why don't you? Are you dead? Don't tell me you're a tranny, right? This brother doesn't have that kind of taste. Sinfully handsome suddenly started panicking. Hello, I'm interested in buying the Flaming Sun scripture that you've placed on the auction house. I wonder if you can sell it to me at a lower price? Sure Fong asked. Oh, so you want to buy that item? Of course, I can. Sinfully Handsome smiled in realization. I'll slightly reduce the price for you then. How does 900 gold sound? This is a very justifiable price. Sure Fong faintly smiled at Sinfully Handsome's asking price. He then calmly stated his own price, 20 silver coins. Sure Fong did not believe Sinfully Handsome knew the Flaming Sun Scripture's true value. Only fire-type humanoids level 10 or higher would drop the Flaming Sun Scripture. However, its drop rate was somewhat low, so its selling price was very high. The average person usually couldn't afford it. Even so, it was still not worth an insane 1,000 gold. With that kind of money, players could even purchase an epic-ranked item. Why would they bother buying an item like the Flaming Sun Scripture if they had that kind of money? Hey, fellow brother, you're not being sincere here. You are the one who took the initiative to contact me, yet you're offering such a price? Do you know which guild I belong to? Sinfully Handsome beamed a smile, proudly saying, Have you heard of Dark Star before? It's an apex third-rate guild in White River City. With this name alone, shouldn't you at least offer 100 gold? Dark Star, it was indeed a powerful guild in White River City. However, what did that have to do with Shurfong? One gold coin. If you don't wish to sell, then forget it. Sure Fong understood that Sinfully Handsome took him for a fool. However, he was also in quite a need for the Flaming Sun Scripture, so he decided to offer such a high price. Unfortunately, Sinfully Handsome misunderstood Sure Fang's intentions. You have to think through this clearly. In the entire White River City, only I possess this Flaming Sun Scripture. Seeing that you're an honest person, I'll make a large sacrifice and sell it to you for 10 gold with an additional 100,000 credits. If you still don't want it, I can only look for another buyer, Sinfully Handsome confidently said. Goodbye. Sure Fong immediately disconnected the call. Sinfully Handsome suddenly panicked when Sure Fong disconnected the call. He did not think that Sure Fong would be so decisive. At least try to bargain. Watching his one gold coin fly out of his grasp, Sinfully Handsome's heart bled with regret. However, he was too embarrassed to contact Sure Fong again. Humph, I don't believe that you can so easily give up on this Flaming Sun scripture. Sinfully Handsome snorted. 
although he did not know the use of the Flaming Sun scripture, based on its powerful and tyrannical name, it was not an ordinary item. Sinfully Handsome was very sure that Sher Fong knew this item's value. However, he did not wish to pay too high a price, so he retreated for the sake of advancing. With this thought, Sinfully Handsome was further assured of the Flaming Sun scripture's value. It was definitely worth more than 1,000 gold coins. Hence, Sinfully Handsome ran towards the auction house, changing the price of the Flaming Sun scripture from 1,000 gold coins to 10,000 gold coins. He wanted to see if Sher Fong was willing to beg him for this item. However, when Sinfully Handsome arrived at the auction house, he discovered that there was not only a single Flaming Sun scripture on auction anymore. There were five of these books now. Aside from his copy, priced at 10,000 gold coins, the other four books were all priced at 15 silver coins. The most inconceivable thing was that the number of Flaming Sun scriptures up for auction continued to increase. In the blink of an eye, there were already ten copies of the book up for sale. Just what sort of situation is this? Sinfully Handsome's eyes widened. He thought he was dreaming right now. How could there be so many Flaming Sun scriptures? While the quantity of these Flaming Sun scriptures increased, someone else bought them one after another. There were a total of 32 copies of the Flaming Sun scripture offered in the auction house. Among them, Sher Fong had bought 30 of them. Only Sinfully Handsome's copy and another copy sold by Nobody Cares for 20 silver coins remained. Sinfully Handsome suddenly thought of something. He then hurriedly opened the trade section under White River City's official forums. As expected, there was an anonymous post stating, Buying Flaming Sun Scriptures at 14 silver coins per book. Willing to purchase it at 15 silver coins if placed in the auction house. One could often find such purchasing methods in virtual reality games. After all, players had plenty of items that they kept on hand without placing them on the auction house. There were only a scarce amount of players like Sinfully Handsome who would place items of unknown value on the auction house. Sher Fong also remembered this fact and he thought that, by now, there should be quite a few players who have gotten their hands on a Flaming Sun scripture. Ah, my one gold coin. Sinfully Handsome wanted to cry. Originally, he thought that the Flaming Sun scripture's value could rival that of an epic-ranked item. However, after seeing so many other players possessing this item, Sinfully Handsome immediately realized his mistake. If he had sold his copy for one gold coin, he would have made a huge profit. Elsewhere, Sher Fong felt great satisfaction after purchasing 30 copies of the Flaming Sun scripture. He would have completely forgotten about this item's existence if he had not discovered the Flaming Sun scripture on the auction house in the first place. 30 books should be enough for my purposes. Sher Fong looked at the 30 Flaming Sun scriptures laying in his bag, utterly pleased. Although he had spent 4 gold, 50 silvers, shrinking his assets slightly, the gold coins he possessed would only depreciate as time passed. It was much better if he used those gold coins to profit further. Thus, Sher Fong had spent so much money to purchase the Flaming Sun scriptures. In Sher Fang's previous life, plenty of players had obtained the Flaming Sun scripture. Unfortunately, none of them knew its purpose. Hence, they sold it at bargain prices. However, there was a ranger who had desperately bought these Flaming Sun scriptures. Even after the prices of the Flaming Sun scriptures rose to one gold coin per book, that player still bought them without hesitation, earning the suspicion of many. So, many players started to investigate the Flaming Sun scripture. On one occasion, a party of players met with a ranger who grinded solo at the level 25 map, Flame God's Cave. Moreover, that ranger displayed a shocking scene of killing the boss and elite monsters there by himself. Later on, however, the players discovered that the reason the ranger could grind at the Flame God's Cave alone was all thanks to the Flaming Sun Scripture. From then on, the secret of the Flaming Sun Scripture was revealed, causing its price to skyrocket. In the end, even when the Flaming Sun Scripture sold for three gold coins per book, there were still players willing to buy it. Right now, Sher Fong had only spent 15 silver coins to purchase each book. He had made a huge profit from this trade. In any case, 
Blackie and the others still needed a long time before they could return to White River City. Since Shurfong had nothing better to do, he might as well grind the boss at the Flame God's cave. After all, his current strength was too weak right now. He could complete neither the epic quest, Darkness Descends, nor the unique quest, Demon's Heart. Moreover, there were plenty of important quests in White River City that required a team to carry out. This was the tragedy that befell all solo players. Hence, grinding bosses was the best option available for Shurfong at the moment. Most importantly, the Flame God's Cave was a valuable location specialized in dropping forging designs. These forging designs had made that ranger into a rich man, and he had earned over 600 gold coins from all the forging designs he sold, becoming the envy of countless players. Soon after, Shurfong hurried towards the teleportation gate. He paid a fee of 24 silver coins and teleported to Red Flame Fortress, the nearest teleportation point to the Flame God's Cave. 